This is a reading from The Notebooks by Maria Voltorta, <clears throat> 1943, August the 26th. Jesus says, The beauty, power, and strength of faith are such that only in heaven will you be able to understand its fullness. Here below, you have merely a pale reflection of it, even in the souls most suffused with faith. But this reflection is already so vast that it suffices to provide orientation for a whole life and lead it straight to me. I am speaking of faith, of true faith, of my faith. There is only one God. There is only one Christ. There is only one faith. This true faith which was born with man, an inhabitant of the earth, the only flower in the desert, and, and the exile of the first man, and of those born of him, which became perfected over the centuries, drawing fullness from my coming, the seal which does not lie and cannot be belied upon the faith of the patriarchs and prophets, this faith, of which the Church is the guardian, the repository of the treasures of the world, is not changeable, for it shares its creator's attributes of immutability and perfection. Look closely. What did faith assure the ancient fathers of? My coming. Such an excelling act of charity that it alone suffices to make people sure of a God, the father of the human race. It gave us assurance of the eternal life reserved for all those who have died in the Lord and denounced eternal punishment for the transgressors against the law of the Lord. It gave us assurance of our triune being. It gave assurance of the existence of the Holy Spirit, from whom every supernatural spiritual light comes. What has ensured the faith of Christians for the last twenty centuries? The same things. Have I perhaps modified the faith? No. Rather, I have confirmed it and built around it the stronghold of my Catholic apostolic Roman church, in which there is the truth deposited by myself. Until the last day, and the last man, the faith is and remains that. There cannot be another, for if you tell me that the world is evolving, I reply to you that this evolution is not an obstacle to the faith, but rather should make it increasingly easy for you to believe. To believe does not mean to be gullible. To believe is to accept and comprehend, according to the light of intelligence, what is said to you by those who have never lied, the holy ones of God, beginning with the patriarchs, to believe is to understand in the light of grace, which I have brought to you, full and superabundant, what still remains obscure to the intelligence. To believe is, above all, to love. Credulity is foolish. To believe is holy, because it is for one's spirit to be obedient to the Lord's mysteries. Blessed are those who do not alter their faith. Blessed are those who remain faithful to the Lord. Light upon light is faith in a being. Things, all things, whether supernatural or natural, are revealed in the light of truth, unknown to the incredulous, and the soul rises to heights of love, veneration, peace, and security. No human words cannot describe what faith is in a heart, neither can those who believe understand what an abyss of terror, darkness, and annihilation a heart devoid of faith is. But never judge your unfortunate, incredulous brothers and sisters. Believe for their sake as well, to make reparation for their negations. I alone judge, I alone condemn, I alone reward, and I alone know how I would like only to reward, for I love you. I love you to the point that to be able to save you, I died for you, for all of you, and you cannot give me a greater joy than to save your souls, to let me save them. And you cannot give me a greater sorrow than to want to lose your souls by rejecting my gift of salvation. Now consider, Maria, how much pain your Jesus feels. Your Jesus who, see so, who sees souls perishing like flowers burned by a fiery wind, speeding up its work of destruction day by day. In truth, I tell you, that this is much more painful than the barbarous flagellation. Your Jesus is weeping, Maria. Let us weep together over the poor souls that want to die. Even if our weeping does not save them, Yours will still remain as a comfort for your Jesus, and for this comfort, may you be blessed.